A few years ago, I attended a midnight mass at an Episcopalian church. The cathedral felt magnificent, the singing felt celestial, and then the priest stood up to deliver the Christmas Eve message. He started to criticize Luke's reporting of the Christmas story, and then proceeded to say that Jesus was not actually God and never claimed to be God. Rather, Jesus's favorite self-designation was the Son of Man. Did Jesus claim to be divine? Was Jesus, in fact, God? Now, it's true that Jesus's favorite self-designation in the gospel accounts is the Son of Man. Jesus frequently refers to himself as the Son of Man. What the priest neglected, though, to mention was that the Son of Man is a figure that we find in Daniel chapter 7. In Daniel 7, Daniel has a vision of God who he describes as the Ancient of Days sitting on his throne, ruling all nations and all peoples. And then Daniel sees this figure, this person, whom he describes as the Son of Man. And the Son of Man sits on God's throne, is given an everlasting dominion, and all peoples and all nations worship this Son of Man. So here we find in Daniel 7, the Son of Man who is seated alongside of God, who shares authority and power with God and is worshipped by all peoples and all nations. And so Jesus' self-designation as the Son of Man is not simply to say that he's only a human and nothing more. Rather, Jesus refers to himself as the Son of Man because Jesus believes that he has a unique divine authority. Jesus believes that he has the authority to forgive sins. Jesus believes that he has the authority over the Sabbath. And the vindication of Jesus's claims and Jesus's deeds is ultimately in his resurrection from the dead.